Hey everybody, it's Teresa. Welcome to my channel. I'm going to make a necklace today and I'm going to use some of the beads that came in the most recent Bargain Bee Box, the Cozy Chrysanthemums Collection. I'll put a link in the corner of this video and in the description box below to the unboxing I did for this subscription in case you want to watch it where I go into more detail about all the beads and findings that came in the box. Uh, I have a coupon code, it's Teresa2, and I'll put it on the screen here and in the description box below, along with a link to the page to sign up for the subscription if you're interested. The coupon will save you $2 off your first box if you sign up. So in here, uh, I've got the 33mm Mukite and Brass Pendant, and I've got one of the 31 by 24 millimeter 18 karat gold plated pewter wreath links. And here I've got the 8 millimeter Mukite round beads. And here I've got the 8 by 6 millimeter faceted glass rondelle beads in dark red. I've got some bead caps from my stash. And here I've got some findings. I've got a lobster clasp. Some 6mm jump rings and an 8mm jump ring. I've got one of the little 6mm crackle agate round beads that I'm going to hang off of this ball head pin here as I dangle off of this little piece of extender chain here that I've got in here. I don't think I'm going to put any chain on it. I think I'm going to make it long enough that it's not going to need any chain. I don't imagine that'll be hard for me because y'all know me. <laughs> and I just... I always end up making necklaces really long. I've got some pieces of my 22 gauge German style wire in gold. And I've got some gold eye pins here. <clears throat> I'm going to be using my chain nose pliers, my tweezer pliers, my round nose pliers, both pairs of my bent chain nose pliers, the crimping pliers I use to tuck in the burrs when I cut off wire, and my cutters. And I've got my little New Orleans shot glass to put my wires in when I cut them off. I think that's everything. I'll put links to everything I can find links for in the description box below. So hold on, I'll get some of my beads poured out and I'll be back. Okay, I got some of my beads out here now. And I'm going to be making some wrap loops and some simple loops. So I'm going to take one of my eye pins. And I'm going to put one of these Mukite beads on here. And I'm going to take my pliers and I'm going to go just a little bit above the bead. I don't think there's much danger in cracking these gemstones, but I still don't want to damage it in, at all. So I'm going to go just a little bit above the bead, bend over at a 90 degree angle. And I'm going to take my cutters off and leave about a fourth of an inch of the pin I'm going to take my round nose pliers go to the tip of the wire here make sure there's none sticking out and start rolling back a loop and I am not the best at making simple loops but <laughs> I wanted to do some on this one sure to get that loop closed really well and if it's not their loops are not facing the same way and mine usually aren't <laughs> just take it and just twist it around till they're facing the same way and this loop up here is not closed well enough I need to close it more and I usually take it and open it and then close it again and get it closed well that way. Now on my rondelle beads here I'm going to make wrap loops. So I'm going to take a piece of my German style wire. These are about three inch pieces of wire. I'm going to go down probably not hardly an inch and a half. Bend over at a 90 degree angle. My rhinos pliers in the crook of the bend, rhinos pliers facing me. Bend the wire back until the 
till it hits the tool. Rotate the pliers till they're facing the table. Take this part under here until it hits the bottom of the tool. Cock the wire back until the loop is centered over the wire. I'm going to take my bent chain of pliers and hold on to my loop. Bring this wire down a little bit. I'm going to wrap the shorter piece of wire around the longer piece of wire about three times. I'm going to take my cutters and cut off the extra wire. Okay, I'm going to take a bead cap because y'all know <laughs> I have to have bead caps around everything. I'm not putting them around the moo cap beads though, I'm just putting them around the rondelles. Put a rondelle on and another bead cap. I'm going to take my pliers and I'm going to go to the very tip of the pliers because I don't want a very long neck. This will give me just enough neck to wrap and have about three wraps on this side like I have down here. So I'm going to bend over at a 90 degree angle. Take my round nose pliers and put them in the crook of the bend. Round those pliers facing me. Bend the wire back until it hits the bead. Rotate the pliers till they're facing the table. Take this piece under here until it hits the bottom of the tool. Cock the wire back until the loop is centered over the bead. And they usually stand your little wire almost straight up there. Take my bent chain those pliers and hold on to my loop. Bring my wire down some. Take my other pair of bent chain those pliers and start to wrap. Wrap till there's no more room to wrap. I'm going to take my cutters and cut off my extra wire. I'm going to take these crimping pliers and I use the part at the end there that has the half circle on each side to tuck in my burrs that are left where I cut off the wire. I'm going to take my bead here that I already made and open it up and thread on my little link I just made there. Now I'm going to do another mook. I'm going to alternate between the rondelles and the mookite beads. I'm going to do another mookite bill. I'm going to open my loop first here. And put my what I've got made so far on here. Now I'm going to put my mukai bead on here. Take my pliers. Go a little bit above the bead. Bend over at a 90 degree angle. Take my cutters. Cut off leaving about a fourth of an inch of the pin. Take my round those pliers and go to the very end of the pin. Start rolling back a loop. Just keep rolling it until it Forms a loop there and gets closed really well. Okay, now I'm going to take another piece of my German style wire. Go down, probably not an, hardly an inch and a half. Bend over to 90 degree angle. Around those pliers and put them in the crook of the bend. Bend the wire back until it hits the tool. Rotate the pliers till they're facing the table. Take 
a short piece of wire up in there here until it hits the bottom of the tool. Cock the wire back until the loop is centered over the wire. Uh, bent chain those pliers and hold on to my loop. Bring my wire down. Wrap the short piece of wire around the long piece of wire about three times. I'm going to cut off my extra wire. Put it on. Let's straighten it up a little bit. Put on a bead cap. My rondelle bead. And a bead cap. Take my pliers. Straighten my loop down here up, and he's got out of shape. Go to the very tip of the pliers. <clears throat> oh, I can't get a hold of it. Okay, now bend over at a 90, 90 degree angle. I was at the very tip that time, but it slid off. Bend over at a 90 degree angle. Around those pliers and the crook of the bend. Bend the wire back until it hits the bead. Rotate the pliers so they're facing the table. Take this part under here until it hits the bottom of the tool. Cock the wire back until the loop is centered over the bead. <coughs> now I'm going to take my bent chain those pliers and hold onto my loop. Pull my wire down some. My other pair of bent chain those pliers and start to wrap. Make sure to get that first wrap in under the bottom of the loop and not over the top of the bottom of the loop. Just wrap till there's no more room to wrap. Then take my cutters and cut off my extra wire. Take my crimping pliers, tuck in my burr, I'm going to take my pliers and open the loop on this one that I made here. Make sure to find the side that opens. <laughs> Thread this on. Close my loop back. Now I'm going to keep doing this alternating between my new kite beads and my rondelles and simple loops and, and wrap loops. And my plan is I'm going to connect to my pendant and then I'm going to put my link here. I think I'll do maybe seven or eight beads, I'm not sure, and then connect it to this loop or this link. And then do some more up through here. And then on the other side, I'm just going to do beads. I'm not going to have one of these links. It's going to be so, sort of an asymmetrical neck, not necklace, not terribly asymmetrical, but a little bit. <laughs> so when I get as many as I want to here, I'll come back and connect these together, and then I'll start on this end. So I'll be back. Okay, I think I've got as many as I want to go between here. I've got nine, and I've decided to. I was going to connect this directly to my pendant but I there's I want there to be more room there between the bead and the pendant than that so I'm going to do it with it I'm going to connect it with a jump ring so open my jump ring thread on my necklace thread on my pendant Close my jump ring back real well. Now I'm 
going to take this loop on this one and connect it directly to my link here. Close it up. So that's what I've got so far. Now I went ahead and made a little bit of what I'm going to put up here. So I think I'll make one more of my simple loops with my Mukai bead. A little bit above the bead. Bend over at a 90 degree angle. Kind of leaving about a fourth of an inch of the pin. Around those pliers. Go to the end of the wire and start rolling back a loop. <laughs> my loops are not facing the same way at all. So I'm going to twist them around and get them to face the same way. Okay, now I'm going to attach this one to this one. Close it back really well. Now I'm going to take my loop on the end of this one. Open it up. Thread it onto my link. Close it back. Close back well, don't want it sneaking out of there. Okay, now I'm gonna, I think that's gonna be long enough <laughs> for that side. I've got nine inches, not counting the pendant, so that'll be plenty long enough. So now I'm gonna, it's so long y'all can't even see it. Now I'm gonna make this other side and I'm gonna have it just be beads. And I'm going to do the same thing, alternate between the Mukite and the Rondales until I have it the same length as this. And then when I come back, we'll attach it and put it all together. So I'll be back. Okay, I've got my other side done here. And as you can see, I had a change in plans. <laughs> I decided I wanted something else over here besides just beads to kind of balance it out a little better. So I found these little round links in my stash. They were really the only thing I had that was... A close match to the gold in this and I just attached them with some five millimeter jump rings I tried four millimeter ones but they were too little to go those rings are too thick to go through a four millimeter jump ring so I used five millimeter ones down or there now I'm going to connect down here and I know I had already connected one side of this to my pendant but uh, I realized that those the jump ring I used to connect that one side was too thick if I, there wouldn't be enough room to connect the other side. So, I've got some 5 millimeter jump rings here that are thinner. I think both of these will go through that link so that I can connect both sides. So, I'm going to connect one side. I'm going to bring back really well. Now I'm going to try this 
side and see if this will go through here. I think it will. Those other jump rings I was using was eight, they were 18 gauge and they were just too thick. That was just bare. That one just barely went in there. This close back up here. Okay. All right, there we go. Now I'm going to come down here. I'm going to lower the camera a little bit. I had to pull it up really high so y'all could see all of it. Now I'll take a six millimeter jump ring and my lobster clasp. And attach it to this. End of my necklace. And now I'm going to take an 8 millimeter jump ring and put it on this side with my extender chain. Okay, so now all like I have to left to do is make my little dangle. So I'm going to take my ball head pin and my little crackle agate bead. Take my pliers. Go to the very tip of the pliers. Bend over to a 90 degree angle. Round those pliers and put them in the crook of the bend. Bend the wire back until it hits the bead. Rotate the pliers till they're facing the table. Take this part under here until it hits the bottom of the tool. Cock the wire back until the loop is centered over the bead. And I'm not going to forget this time, y'all. I'm going to open my loop. I forget this all the time. I thread on my extender chain. down in there. Now I know that's open enough. There we go. Now I'm going to close my loop back. I'm going to take my bent chain those pliers and hold on to my loop. I'm going to take my other pair of bent chain those pliers and start to wrap. Just keep wrapping till there's no more room to wrap. Now I'm going to cut off my extra wire. I'm going to take my crimping pliers and tuck in a little burr. So there we go. I've got it all done now. So hold on and I'll try to get everything cleaned up here and get it laid out so y'all maybe can see all of it. <laughs> I'll be back. 
Okay, there's my first piece made from the November 2023 Bargain Bee Box called Cozy Chrysanthemums. It took some maneuvering to get it all in one picture, but I finally got it. <laughs> got it in here. I don't know what it is about me. I just can't seem to make anything other than long necklaces. Uh, I say the first of many because I'm sure I'll be making many more pieces of jewelry out of this box. I'm always able to get many, many pieces of jewelry out of one box. That's why I'm always saying I believe it to be a really good value box. And like I said, if you're not subscribed and you decide you want to be, that coupon code will save you $2 off your first box. I hope you all have enjoyed this video. As always, thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate those of you who have subscribed to my channel and watched my videos and liked and commented on my videos. I have a website where I sell my jewelry. It's Teresa's Handmade Jewelry, and I'll put a link to it in the description box below in case you're interested, along with a link to my Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and my email. If you haven't, I'd really love it if you'd subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified when I upload a new video. So until next time, hope y'all have a great day. Take care.